Hello and welcome to the Ask How To Show. My name is Sean. Today I am going to cover Photoshop layers. So if you haven't already, open up your Photoshop. If you don't see the layers panel on the right hand side of your screen, two ways you can access this by hitting F7. The other way is to go up to Window and as you can see there's a bunch of options here to choose from layers right here F7 as a shortcut key next to it so layers are really handy uh, they allow you to create objects that are separated from other objects which makes it easy to uh, edit that image or object uh, without modifying any of your other images or objects you can hide layers lock layers Hiding layers is easy. Just click the uh, small eye icon next to the layer. It's always uh, good to name your layers things that are relevant or meaningful uh, to your design at that time. I have a little design here. And as you can see, I've labeled these square one, square two, square three, square four. That's not really helpful in any way they're not meaningful um, so a good idea might be to rename these and to rename these just single click the layer that you would like to rename go to layer rename layer now let's name this one something meaningful such as left eye so square two uh, square three Let's see which one do we have here, square three. So we can rename this one right eye. Uh, square two I believe is the left pupil. So rename left pupil. And square four is going to be our right pupil. So let's rename that right pupil. It's also a good idea um, to keep your panel organized. Uh, one way you can do that is by creating groups with your layers. So we might uh, group left pupil and left eye together. Uh, to create a group you can single click on one layer and hold control and click the other layers that you would like to be in that group. Next we'll go up to layer. Uh, there's a shortcut for this as well. You can press Control plus G or you can go to the layer menu and group layers. So we've created group one. Uh, with group one selected we can rename that group so it's also meaningful to our our project. Uh, by doing so just make sure that it is selected. Go to layer and rename group and let's rename that left eye so we can do the same with the right eye group those control G go to rename and right eye you can also expand these after afterwards after grouping them by clicking the triangle next to them and collapse them as well so layers can also be used as a non-destructive way of editing photos or other images. Uh, the way we can do that is by creating a uh, new fill or adjustment layer. So I've got an image here of some landscape. And we can edit this by creating a new fill or adjustment layer. You have different selections here, brightness, contrast, uh, vibrance, hue, saturation. So let's click on hue and saturation. Now we can adjust this to whatever we like. Saturation and as well as the lightness. So once you've made your adjustments you can click back to layers and now you can see that it's created a new layer for adjustments. We can hide this and see the original document or image and it has not been altered 
on the original image just on your adjustment layer while we're looking at this you can also see that we have a background layer here and if we click on that it's locked by default and you cannot adjust the opacity or fill or any adjustments if we double click this background layer it creates a new layer uh, we'll just leave this as uh, layer zero for now there's some other adjustments uh, color and mode so you can make those adjustments and click OK. This will convert that background layer to a regular layer, which you can now edit with filters or whatever, whatever you choose to do to it. You can also, after your adjustments, you can also make this your background layer again by going to Layer, New, and Background from Layer this will switch this back to a background layer some of the other things you can do with panels is by clicking this small icon with the uh, triangle and what looks to be a list you can go down to panel options and adjust the thumbnail size you can adjust the contents of the thumbnail I choose entire document by default and click OK and as you can see the thumbnail is now medium size and switch that back you can also choose to have no thumbnail as well as small medium and large I prefer the small you can also duplicate layers that you wish to duplicate by single clicking the layer right click and duplicate layer Again, it's a good idea to uh, rename this to something meaningful to your project. Click OK. Now we have rectangle and rectangle copy. If we grab this rectangle, we can now move it. We have two of them. And finally, we can change the transparency preferences of layers as well. So select the layer that you wish to change. and let's change the background in this example go to windows I'm sorry go to edit preferences and transparency and gamut so right here you'll have some other options as well so you can choose the uh, grid size small medium or large and choose the colors of your grid okay and you can also choose the opacity of the gamut warning and then click OK and this changes the background to a transparent background so that is the layers and layers panel tutorial if you have any further questions feel free to leave me a comment I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful and helpful, and thanks for watching.